All right, getting ready to go ahead and set up the rabbit on this thing. I've already got my Kent teak down. I've got my uh, plate. Now, I do like using this for a lot of reasons. Uh, and one of them is, is that when you're doing rabbits like this, uh, kickback. Uh, it's just straightforward. I mean, it, it helps with uh, kickback, period. So let me get everything fired up, and uh, we'll get going with this. I'd like to uh, quickly talk about is that uh, when you're feeding anything into a router, uh, straightforward, especially if you're doing a, a tabletop router like this is, uh, you want to make sure that you're always forcing just slightly at an angle offline on this thing so that your body weight can always keep and carry. Now you'll see me do some things where, you know, and to be honest with you, I shouldn't do because you know, I've done it for so long and I, I, there is somewhat carelessness sometimes. Uh, I should have put my hand in there and done that. Basically, I want to keep a hand on both of the, the handles here. And keep it in. The other thing is it also allows you to put pressure downwards. That pressure is really important in making sure that that rabbit uh, stays correct. But uh, again, like I said uh, just a little bit ago, you know, pieces in there. I'll now uh, take this and um, mount this permanently into the, the, into the plastic piece here and uh, get that all ready and then we'll go over here and uh, get ourselves a door panel put together.